was with the Holy Name and all that going on, right? 108 was a band, punk, it, it, punk rock is amazing. And uh, it, the one thing that's amazing about it is like all radical movements, it quickly becomes reactionary, right? And uh, I know, there's a, I get lesser wounds for that because we're in the middle of, we're in the middle of a radical which five years from now will go, wow, we were really reactionary back then. Like, really, you know, it, it happens with every radical movement. It's just part of the process. Uh, but, uh, but, but as it does, it's embarrassing later on. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you can tell everybody else how to live. It's pretty wild. You know, so, uh, but, but in punk, like, there was a space by all the rules were being formed about how to rebel against the mainstream society that was ugly and oppressive and so forth. And the more rules there were, the more space it made for people who really loved rules, right? And so, uh, into this comes the International Society for Christian Consciousness, founded in 1967 by A.C. Bhakti Vedanti Swami Prabhupada, um, who uh, had brought his mission of Christian Consciousness to the West on the ship Jaladuta that sailed into the Boston Harbor in 66. Uh, it's a very long story that I could recite by memory, but I'll cut to the chase and say that he, the movement became large. He was something like 65 when he sailed over, it was pretty amazing that he got this movement going with people who were hungry spiritual seekers looking for a spiritual discipline that would connect them to God. Um, the movement went through various phases and uh, he uh, died or went back to Godhead in 77. But, uh, but at any rate, by the 80s, the movement is in collapse for, is it, in the absence of a, of a spiritual master spiritual movements tend to fray. We've seen this with Christianity over the last 2,000 years or so. I mean, you try, but once, once the guy with most of the words are gone, it's, it's hard. So, so uh, but at some point, some punks who are into straight edge, right, which, you know, I know this is long, but some people aren't punks, so. Uh, <laughs> People who are into straight edge, which is straight edge is people who don't, they don't smoke, don't drink, uh, and uh, what else don't they do? Uh, there's a lot of things that they didn't do, which was fine because I get where the straight edge people are coming from too. Like I go to the show and some drunk fucking asshole can't seem to shut up and I'm trying to listen to music. You know, we will see this later tonight, probably. And, uh, you know, it's like people go, man, fuck all those drunk people. I, or, you know, or maybe they're 16 and they're tired of going to it, not being able to get into a show. Straight edge happened. But the people who are into straight edge are looking for something more. In come the Krishna punks. There aren't that many of them. There was a band called Shelter. There was a band called 108. And I can think of one more whose name I don't remember. But they are uh, young men, I want to say pretty exclusively young men. Uh, but, uh, they, they have joined up with the Hare Krishnas, but they're also punks, and they're trying to find some way to to bring the two things that are life-changing to them into accord. Um, they got clowned on a lot, as you might imagine. <laughs> there were many angry discussions in the pages of Maximum Rock and Roll as to whether this pushed the boundaries of punk rock a little too far. <laughs> I've, I became aware of them through these letters discussions of Maximum Rock and Roll, and as is my nature, I immediately sided with the people who were getting clowned on. This is called for the Christian Corbin. <laughs> you stuck to the scene, but did the scene stick by you? In a few cases, yes. routinely got called out by maximum rock and roll and you weren't ever gonna fit in at the fireside bowl and the day comes practically declaring war as if there were anything more orthodox than hardcore as if there were anything more orthodox than hardcore Stuck to your guns when you were running out of ammo Even on package tours Supporting metalcore guys in camo You find more common threads than you'd expect to in these places Always see the holy name Light up a few new faces Back in the day punk Still with plenty of shit to say, covertly cashing in on dead stock of your early demos on eBay. Sorry. Where were they on the night you first shaved your head? Drinking beer in a field somewhere with all creation overhead. And where were they when the low 
locals were ganging up on you. Lining up to join some nearly identical crew. You stuck it out for several years, or maybe you moved on. Nobody's really sure where Giant Vibe is gone. Some say he's a stoner now. Creeper Dave swears that's true. But when you point one finger at the Krishna punks, I got two fingers up for you. The back in the day punks. Still singing the same old song About the kids who brought the banquet to the matinee But preached just a little too long Yeah, they preached just a little too long 